Good morning. Hello on this beginning of May from a bright and sunny home office. I am Sheila Bicknell, Blue Water Oracle, bringing you today the May Intuitive Guidance Reading. This is a monthly reading I do at the beginning of the month, whether it involves one card or more, and then receiving through that card to bring us reflection points, insights, guidance, and wisdom for our month ahead. I think it's really appropriate that I get bright sunshine coming in through my home office. You can see the reflections on the other side. There we go. You should, can see the reflections of the jade plants up on my windowsill here. And so greenery and abundant succulents as it comes in seems really appropriate for this start of May as we get the greenery and the warmth coming in to open and expand the land, the planting of seeds for growth. So the May Intuitive Guidance Reading this month started with a little poem, a few phrases. So let me read them to you. And in the reach of May, so cometh the tide. The brightening sun brings the waves of life. The choosing of the path and the sowing of the waves creates the essence of being and the content of all the days. The May Intuitive Guidance Reading this month features the Ceremony Invocation card. This is a card from the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen Farmer, published by Hay House. Ceremony Invocation. Let's hit. And it starts. We return to the Earth Magic Oracle Cards for this month's reading and find ourselves with the same card as the month of March. How interesting. I definitely found it interesting. See? In March, this card discussed the ceremony of connecting with ourselves. The theme winds its way back to us this month, as so many resonated with not feeling connecting with themselves or not knowing themselves in their current journey and life. Give yourself the time to refer back to that reading and its guidance if you feel so drawn. It is never too late to get to know oneself and to create those connections within. From there, so much of value can flow outwardly to touch you, your life, those you care about, their lives, and the world. Treasure in the blink of an eye and the spark of a new day. This month, the Ceremony Invocation card brings us into themes of connection with the world, with this earth of ours and our place in it. March is the month of the spring equinox, in the Northern Hemisphere. And today, or yesterday, May 1st, marks Bel May Day and Beltane for those who celebrate it and recognize it. I looked up a few ref reference books yesterday about Beltane before I did the reading, and it was something I hadn't done in a long time. So I did, I pulled out the Celtic, Celtic Devotional by Caitlin Matthews, and a lovely little book that I use quite often, the Wicca Book of Days by Selena uh, Ailey. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. I'm going to say it's Ailey. So I hadn't looked up Beltane in a long time. And then I lit a green candle as I sat to bring forward this oracle guidance. To receive the ceremony invocation card after that confirms a deep connection with processes and practices, with ancient ways combining with present moment. Nothing says that more then candles, books, oracle cards, intuition, and a laptop computer. The cycles of the earth are something that Mother Earth does well. She understands her journey around the sun and throughout time much better than most humans do. Where the dependence on the land and the elements is direct for food and survival, People register deep within them, the seasons, the weather, and the days and nights. When food comes from faraway lands, crossing continents and oceans to reach mouths, it is no wonder that many people lose touch with how it happens and when in the course of a year. When homes close and power sources help to survive more easily with weather changes, again, Perhaps people find less association 
with what the seasons mean and how to navigate for one and all. This reading knows it is saying things about the earth and our ways that have been said before. Some people are highly aware and for others it is of no interest with differing immediate priorities in their pathways. So who is this reading for? It is for anyone who will listen anyone who will receive, observe, and shift. Whether it is one sentence that catches the attention and stirs something within, or whether it is the entire guidance that resonates and vibrates with your being, this reading will have succeeded in its mission today with great gratitude. There are many ceremonies people no longer realize are so our card. No longer realize our part of the passage of the seasons, the turning of the world and the passing of time. The birth of a child, each birthday celebration, monthly cycles, holidays throughout the year, graduation for accomplishments, anniversaries, and more. There are many that are tied in with the earth directly, preparing gardens, planting seeds, tending the plants, harvesting the planted and the wild, preparing for winter and more. To some, these are not ceremonies, but simply acts of time in the seasons. Is there really a difference? Perhaps one. Perhaps taking a moment to breathe with intention would be the difference. Perhaps that simple act connects with the vision and the reason why, bringing power, beauty, and grace to something that seems so basic. Whatever you're doing in your day and your life this month, invite in the option to bring in ceremony. As basic as taking a breath consciously with the intention for the act you are about to take or do. Why are you doing it? What is the desired outcome for the act? Breathe your intention. Create the moment and then act. What would help you with what you will be doing? Add that into your ceremony if you like, with gratitude if it feels good for you. Thank you for helping me with, or thank you for bringing me to help me with. These not only invite in all of your own knowing through your brain, body, heart, history, intuition, and spirit, but also invite in energy of all that can be considered universe or divine or wisdom within and wisdom beyond the individual. Engage it all together. Invite in the union with wisdom and the option to receive as you experience and live. Whereas at one point, some may have considered ceremony to be restrictive and confining. This is bringing in wisdom with a flow that now wants to play and dance for the new day. Yes, there are responsibilities. Yes, there are commitments. None knows, none knows this better than the earth on which we live. She strives for a balance and is committed to achieving it through flow of huge phases and differing tides of life. Her creatures and components understand that there are ways in which life leads ways that must be respected, as simple as the rising and setting of the sun reminds us of this. So if you are in ceremony and you know there is a new and better way, bring the vision of what has been, what is ancient and valuable, and intertwine it with the currents that want and need to be. There is never a reason to forget, 
but there are many reasons to learn and to shift. Each breath you take is an opportunity for this, an opportunity that has been given by life itself. Your intention and your action bring it to life in ways that are needed now. And you are the gift that is needed to bring it. Each breath, each day, each ceremony, and each connection. What a wondrous world and a wondrous life. May this month be filled with reminders of receiving and layers of connection with all of your intentions and all of your highest ceremonies. May they start with you and your heart and flow forward, forging new ground when needed, remembering when needed, and planting seeds when needed. Blessed be. With love, from me, Sheila, and the guiding forces of wisdom and universal energies and the Earth Magic Oracle Cards. As I said, the Earth Magic Oracle Cards are written by Stephen Farmer and published by Hay House. This written guidance you can find on my website, bluewateroracle.com, under the blog and posts page, and also on my Blue Water Oracle Facebook page. You can find it there as well. And if you're on my newsletter mailing list, you would have got the full May intuitive guidance reading in your newsletter sent out May 1st. If you'd like to receive it by email, please let me know. Send me an email, bluewater100 at gmail.com or send me a message on my social media. Wishing you a beautiful start to May. May it be profound and wonderful and full of incredible connections and ceremonies. <music>